benefiting from the drug war and all these domestic tyranny campaigns that were taught are, you know, to help society instead of um, what it's really doing is hurting. Uh, who's really behind the health care bill? You know, who's really paying Obama's pockets? You know, it's uh, there are these questions that people are going to have to face, and once they do, um, they'll learn that we've been lied to. We've been lied to this whole time, and you know, more and more people are waking up, and more and more people are spreading the word. Uh, more educational media is available online to, to spread the word and um, let, let the voices be known. Do you think everything can be worked out in a peaceful manner? That's up to the individual. If the individuals right now who are educating themselves, who are learning how to grow their own food, who are learning how to adapt to the economy and evolve out of the current economy that's been designed for us, will survive. The individuals that submit themselves to the slavery that this economy provides, who submit themselves to the of the of currency. People don't realize that they are voting with every dollar they spend. Every time you buy clothing that's been made in China or been made in some third world country that uses slavery to produce goods, they then voted for slavery. Every time someone buys gas with their money, they're voting for the oil industry. Every time somebody uses federal reserve goods, they're voting for the federal reserve to save power. So there's a movement right now on the internet of digital currency exchange systems. Bitcoin, um, Lovecoin, all these digital currency systems that are user-based and entirely untraceable and untaxable by the government are going to be emerging as a new uh, economic system for the free, the actual free markets. Cool, man. Would you get here today?